Well, do you guys remember that scene in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, one of my favorite movies, where they roll back the odometer? Oh, yeah. Well, it's happening outside of just the 80s classic. Did they get it from the movie? Maybe. I wonder. Well, it's a lot easier to do than it was in the movie. That was a task. Remember? Didn't they yes. like Yeah. Well, Carfax has estimated that millions of vehicles on the road have had their odometers rolled back, in fact, and it's a lot easier than you think. So explain this, Christine. So you don't need uh, Matthew Broderick. That's too and bad. And I'm blanking on the, uh, the other guy. Too. I can't, he's so I can good. He's face. like in a ball of yeah. stress. Yeah. Um, but in the movie, you may remember they had this elaborate setup to roll back the odometer by spinning the wheels in reverse, and it made for a very memorable scene. But in reality, rolling an odometer back is as easy as buying an inexpensive tool off the internet and pressing a few buttons. California has the highest number of vehicles with rolled back odometers in the nation, according to Carfax, amounting to just over 430,000 cars. About 200,000 of those are believed to be on the roads right here in the LA area. There is a huge misconception that digital odometers can't be tampered with, and that couldn't be further from the truth. All it takes is a device like this one. It used to cost upwards of $10,000. Now you can buy one online for less than 300 bucks. It does not require any type of expert use. You literally, you need to be able to read. Josh Engel owns Atlanta Speedometer, which specializes in legitimate odometer repairs. He showed us how easy it is to roll back the mileage. This is a 2009 HHR, um, Chevy HHR. So as you see right now on the odometer, this thing has 150,000 miles on it. When I count to three, I'm going to press the enter button and you'll see just how quickly this goes. So one, two, three, you'll see a little error message pop up and there you go, 50,000 miles. Likely adding three grand to the price tag. Unfortunately, when they tamper with these odometers, it does not leave a digital footprint. That's why experts say anyone buying a used car should have an independent inspection done so the mechanic can check if the mileage matches the wear and tear on the vehicle. Also, you can use a Carfax report to track the numbers. If it it's currently says there's 75,000 miles on the vehicle and the last reading was an oil change a couple months ago and it had 140,000, that's a huge red flag. Now, this problem is far more common with private sales of cars. These are crooks posing as people, you know, selling grandma's car with low mileage. <laughs> you won't likely see this happen at a major car dealership because obviously it's illegal. So if you're buying from a private party get or an even like a really small independent lot, yeah, get in. And anybody selling a car who's legitimate is not going to have a problem with you right. paying for an independent inspection. What about a Carfax report? Yes, Will that, that would work anything? too, usually, because let's say they they got their mileage checked just, you know, six months ago and it was more yeah. than what it is now, <laughs> right. huge red flag. Yeah. So you just need to be aware. I honestly had no idea this was so easy and so rampant. Well, and now so cheap to be able to buy the little mm -hmm. right. tool to do right. it too. Right. So 300 bucks and you make three, four grand. It's yeah. worth it. Right. Christine has a new business. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kidding. she's on anywhere. our side. All right, Christine. Thank Legally. You.